Hey y'all, it's me again. Welcome back to Fly to 50. I'm your Fly Dot D and I'm back with another video. Y'all, in this video, I'm showing you my makeup basket for the month of August. Can you believe it's August already? Crazy. Well, y'all, this is my basket. I'm going to tell you what fragrances I'm going to be using, uh, beauty products, and eyeshadows. So go ahead and get you a snack, get you something to drink, and let's go ahead and get busy with this video. All right, let's get going. This is my fragrance tray for the month. The first fragrance. Oops, let's get this back. You know what? Let's get this out of the way. All right, this is the first fragrance. It is the Al Rehab Dalal. D A L A L. Dalal. It has no caramel, vanilla, orange, and sandalwood. The next fragrance I'm going to be using is Chanel Chance. This is an EDT. It has patchouli, pink pepper, pineapple, hyacinth, iris, lemon, jasmine, rose, musk, vetiver, and vanilla. This is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. And it has notes of cloudberry, daisy, cashmere, musk, and driftwood. Next up, I have this fragrance here. It's by Kai, and it's called Justify Your Love. It has notes of musk, saffron, whipped cream, almond, pistachio, and tonka bean. This is to rob all the hob. It has notes of white flour, lemon, coconut, vanilla, nutmeg, and musk. Then this one here, which is a rollover from last month, I just can't get enough. I want to use it some more. This is Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. It has candied lemon, panna cotta, orange blossom, rum, and vanilla. And the last fragrance for the month is this one by Trusardi. It is pure jasmine. It has notes of pistachio, neroli, bergamot, jasmine, champaca, mugain, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. Okay, now we're going to go into beauty items. I have them in this bin here, but it's a mess. So, yeah. Let me just pick some stuff out. Okay, we're going to start with these. Okay, starting out with the foundations I'm going to be using this month. For the month of August. First one is this MAC Studio Radiance. I have this and I think it's C8. Yes, this is C8. This is up for face and body. It's just a light coverage, sheer foundation. It's a little gray too, so I don't know about that. But that's what I'll be using, foundation. Another foundation I will be using, it. this is the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Complexion Drops. Shake well. Oh, I have this in Tillier 12. Next, I'll be using the Glossy A Skin Tint in G3. And I will also be using Best Skin Days by Iris and Romeo. I have this in the shade 11. And the last foundation I will be using is from Danessa Myers. It's her Yummy, Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. And I have this in the shade 13. Okay, now I'm moving on to concealer and concealer-like products. This is from Glossy A. This is their this is their stretch concealer, and I have this in G4. 
I also have this Rare Beauty. This is the um, this is the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I have this in deep. It has that metal cooling tip. I also have the Natasha Denona. This is the Not Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. I have it in Y12. I do like this concealer, but to me it has a great undertone, but it still looks nice. I will also be using the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. I have this in DJ, DG3. Reminds me of the Natasha Denona Concealer. And the last one I have here is this L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer in C6, 7 through 8. This one has like a brush, like a paint on. It's not a uh, doe fit. Oh, here's another concealer I forgot. This is this one is the Iris and Romeo Best Skin Days Treatment Concealer. And I have this in shade, shade 10. So that's that. Another concealer I'll be using is the Born This Way Ethereal Light. Have this in the shade Car Caramel Drizzle. And I will be using this one for Kim KVD Beauty. And this is in tan. 173 that's what it looks like it looks like it has a dropper it is not a dropper all right next up these are powders i think this is all of them First one I have is Sigma. This is their uh, Soft Focus Setting Powder in Cinnamon. I will also be using the Say. This is the Say Translucent Deep Powder. It's called Air Set. It's a Radiant Loose Setting Powder. Radiant Loose Powder. And last, I'll be using this Hourglass Powder Palette. It's the Ambient in uh, Volume 3. This is the dark one they threw at us so that we have stopped calling them names. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. I don't really have anything lightening, so I don't think, I don't know if I'm going to be brightening this month or I might just have to add a powder. We will see. Okay, these are like primers or primer-like products. I'm going to have to get another primer, I know, but uh, this is what I have for right now. This is the Iris and Romeo Weekend Skin. It's Warm Glow. They have two different. This is the dark shade. And it has SPF 50 and vitamin C. This is the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. And it is in Juice Boost. There is a lighter one of these as well. And last, I have the Ease Drop Lit. All Over Glow Enhancer in Honey Citrine number 303. And I will probably, since I don't have any primers, I will also be using this Tatcha. I'm still trying to use this up. It just, it just don't want to be done. It don't want to be done. So, yeah, I'll be using this one as well. Oopsie. Now let's talk about bronzing and contour. For contouring, I will be using this Victoria Beckham Contour Stylist Stick. And I have this in 
I don't know if it's not the darkest, it's the second to darkest shade. It is pretty dark. All right. So I'll be using that. I will also use, be using this Black Up Contouring Powder. I will also be using this Victoria Beckham Bronzing Brick in number five. And then I have these two cream bronzers, one from Mora, one from Makeup Revolution. This is Mora. And this is in the shade Stay Golden. And then this one is, this is their Ultra Cream Bronzer by Revolution. And this is Deep. And last, last I'll be using this Milani bronzer. This is a 140 Mocha Moment. This is called their Cheek Kiss Bronzers. All right. Now let's talk blushes. I do have I do have two rollover blushes from last month. This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush in the shade Water Watermelon Rain. It's Watermelon Rain. And I have this one from NYX. This is their old uh, ombre, ombre blush. And this one is called Nude to Me. So moving on, I am going to be using these two um, blush palettes from Juvia's Place. This is volume two. And this is volume one. Both pretty, both still perform well. Now, I'll also be using some liquid blushes. I'll be using this one from Hindash. And this is in the shade uh, Rising. This is a nice orange in the shade Rising. Now, the rest are Juvia's Places. These are the matte blushes. This is Dahlia. Then we have Peach Rose. This one is Lily Love. Then I have two that are the highlighting blushes. This one is Blush Lily Glow. Lastly, this one is Marigold Gold Glow. So I'll be using those. Those are the last of the blushes, but I'll also be using their liquid uh their liquid highlighter as well and this is in golden hour uh i will also be using this ulta book beauty three in one cheek palette it is a it has the bronzer highlight and blush so we'll see i've had this a while not really used it so we'll see if it does anything for my skin tone if not we'll just get rid of that too Now let's talk highlighters. The first highlight I'm going to be using is this one I got from Adept Cosmetics. I got it on sale. This is the, what is this called? The, the Catch Yourself White. It was on sale and I was intrigued. So we'll see what happens with these. Very pretty. All right. We'll also be using this one. 
also be using this one from Jouer, this Molten Glow. Very pretty. And that's the glow right there. Very beautiful. I'll be also using this one from MAC. This is their Extra Diminished Skin Finish in Old Darling. That is beautiful. And last, this one I have a long time. It was on the shopping block so many times, but I just can't get rid of it. This is Belavante's Rose Gold Highlighter. Once again, I don't know if they're still in business or what, but. Oh my gosh. What in the. Oh, Lord. I forced that out, didn't I? I don't, I don't know. It's not broken, so that's good. Hang on, y'all. I got to do a little bit of surgery real quick. There we go. So there it is. It is so pretty. I'm going to swatch this one. It is so pretty. That's why I can't get rid of it. So we'll see what it do this month. Oh, now the last things I want to be doing this month are a few lip colors. I don't normally put lip colors in here, but I really want to use these this month. And these are by Fenty Beauty. These are her Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And I have the MVP one. Then I have Power Thirsty. And then I have Nudes and, and Dudes. Nudes and dudes. This is MVP. That's MVP. This is nudes and dudes. That's nudes and dudes. And lastly, we have Power Thirsty. So that's it. MVP, Nudes and Dudes, and Power Thirsty. I forgot one of the lipsticks. This is Fenty Beauty and Riri. It's the mauve. All right, now to the last part, eyeshadows. This is the eyeshadows, okay? Some I've already used, so they are going to have a little sticky note on them, but... Okay, first up, we have Viseart. We have the... This is the Petite Shimmer Koi Palette. And that's what they look like. Have a little shield over them. There they are. Also from Viseart, the larger size. This is the La Marias. La Marias. It's a nice warm color story. Pop purple in there. From Ace Beauté, I have the Aura Palette. And I also have the Envy Palette. And the last one from them, the last one from Ace Beauté is their Palatopoly palette. You know, the one they had a game with. Very pretty. I have not used this one yet. 
Next up, we have the side-by-side -side nude palette from Nabla. Warm and a couple of cool tone ones in there. Uh, from Blend Bunny Cosmetics, I have the Sugar and Grunge Palette. Have this uh, Coming to America Palette from Uma Beauty. And this is the... Is it called Good Morning Zumanda? I don't know. Maybe it is. This is a Coming to America. Pretty. Also, here I have two from ColourPop. I have the Going Coconuts. And I have the Send Nudes. Alright, pretty similar. I have a few in here from Pat McGrath. This first one is this is number ten. This is this is number nine, Utopian Dream. All right. It's a Utopian Dream. And this one is number 10, Moonlight, Moonlit Seduction. few quads. This first quad is Passion Fleur. Y'all, this nail already coming off. Passion Fleur. And then we have uh, Venusian Sunrise. And then Eternal Eden. I pulled these up because I did not end up buying her new collection. It did not. It did not speak to me. I was initially so happy to see it, but then when I really examined it, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Also have in here from Maybelline is the Nudes of New York palette. Have this one Pixie by Petra. This is their uh, Rustic Sunset palette. I also have three from Alter Ego. This first one is the Goddess, which is the dupe for the original gold palette. Then I have Sahara. I always forget what this one's for. Let me see if I remember. Is this the Biba? Child, I don't know what this is a dude for. But this is that one. I think it is Biba. And the last one is the one they is one they just came out with. This is Mystique, and this is a dupe for one of Natasha Denona's palettes as well, but I can't remember. Little Circle Local, I think. But this is so pretty. If Circle Local looked like this, I, 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 just, I just missed out on that one because this is a beautiful color story. I really like it. Let's keep on going. I do have two from Natasha Denona. 
The first one is her Glam palette. Now I changed mine around and helped me a little bit, so I don't know. I don't know if it helped me or not, but this is it. And then I also have the Metropolis palette. I have two from Adept. The first is the House of L, which was inspired by Superman. Da -da -da -da, Superman. I wish I would just song with that. Then. Ah, first I was like, what the? But then as I heard it some more, I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of cute. All right, this is the Codeine palette. So pretty. We are almost done. I also be using the Doll Squad 3 palette from Doll 10. This is a cool tone palette. And the last palette. No, I got two more palettes. Two more palettes. This first one is bright. From Beauty Bay, this is a 16 pan. You know, they got a 16 or, and a huge one, and I think an 8 pan. So, this is a 16. I got this to come out of my comfort zone to use it, do something colorful. And last but not least, I'll be using the Cosmic Beauties. Royal Rose palette. This is the big sister to all the ones everybody loved, but she came first and paved the way. So I'll be using this as well. Well, y'all, that's it for this makeup basket. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until I see you in another video, stay fly, sis.